in New York State Public High School Athletic Association sponsored athletic competition. Any rebroadcast or republication of this programming without the written consent of the New York State Public High School Athletic Association is strictly prohibited. Hi everybody, welcome once again to Peconic Bay Television's coverage of the New York State High School Boys Basketball Playoffs from the Glens Falls Civic Center in upstate Warren County, New York. This is Ed Dabrowski along with director and videographer Paul Sparrow. We're here for the Class B semifinal game between the Hurricanes of West Hampton Beach. 24-0 on the season, unbeaten against the Mustangs of Penn Yan Academy, who come in with a 20-5 overall record. The Penn Yan starters have just been introduced, and we're about to be introduced to the starters for the Hurricanes. Familiar names, I'm sure, to all East End fans. First off, number 12, 5'10", senior, Dale Menendez. Number 23, 6'5", senior, Jermaine Holman. Number 32, 6'2", senior, Jason Ritchie. Number 33, 6'6", junior, Dwayne Sanders. And rounding out the starting five for the Hurricanes, number 44, six-foot sophomore, Bronson Martin. West Hampton the Beach coached by Rich Race in his seventh year coaching the Hurricanes. Rich wearing what has become a uh, traditional outfit for him, green sweater. Same shirt, he tells me, and pants for about the last 10 games or so. So I guess a little superstitious, perhaps. Some of the fans here at the Glens Falls Civic Center, many Hurricane fans up here for this trip. First time that West Hampton Beach has made it to Glens Falls. And they hope it's a successful one. First off, they have to deal with the Mustangs of Penn Yan. Right now, we're going to have our national anthem. cheerleaders here in full force the hurricane pep band you can see in the background behind the cheerleaders are also up here to lend their musical support and they certainly hope they have a lot of happy tunes to play we would like to thank for sponsoring this game Hawks fuel oil company incorporated of West Hampton Beach Wayne Nancy and Andrew Hauk and Paul Haynes of Hauk's Real Oil Company of West Hampton Beach are honored to sponsor today's coverage of the West Hampton Beach High School Championship Boys Varsity Basketball Team Playoffs. Celebrating their 15th anniversary this year, Hauk's Fuel, located on Old Riverhead Road, West Hampton Beach, is family owned and operated and prides itself on the personal attention they give their customers. Hauk's Fuel, 288-6600. And our thanks to Hauk's Fuel for their generous sponsorship of this game. Hurricanes with the ball off the opening tip. Menendez down the lane. Dale Menendez averaging 14 points a game, seven assists and four steals. All league, all conference player this season. Likely to be all county as well. They haven't not yet announced those selections. ball is called on the alternating possession it will go to the Mustangs 
Penn Yan starts number five, six two sophomore Steve Leg. Number eleven, five ten sophomore Mike Tones. Number twenty two, six two senior Scott Jensen. Number thirty two, six six senior Chris Wilbur. High shot batted around. Sanders strong inside. That's Wilbur inside using all of his 6'6 height to no avail. The other starter for the Mustangs, number 24, 6'3 senior, Chris Koch. Basket rolled in by Holman. 4 0 Hurricanes. Hurricanes proving themselves to be the best team on Long Island this season. Now they're gonna try and see if they can prove to be the best team in their class in New York State, starting with this game. Holman spinning jump shot. Rebound is saved, but to Jason Ritchie of the Hurricanes. Menendez will start up the offense. Had a fine season running the Hurricane offense. Holman down low, way off the mark on that shot. Mustangs adorned in blue uniforms with red trim numerals. Foul on the near side against Bronson Martin as he was covering Scott Jensen. That's Mike Tones, number 11. Expect the Hurricanes to play their game, their usual game defensively. They're swarming zone as they try and double team the ball whenever possible. Penyon has some height. Wilbur, 6'6. Coke, 6'3. Jensen, 6'2. So the battle on the boards, as always, will be very important. And just who executes their game plan better. Sanders with the big block. Menendez in transition. 6-0 Hurricanes. While it's the Hurricanes' first trip to Glens Falls, it is also the first for Penn Yan. Banker is knocked in by Steve Legg. 6'2 sophomore. Another player with some height for the Mustangs. Tones out guarding Menendez. Mustangs playing man-to-man -man defensively. So it'll be important for the Hurricanes to set good screens, free up their shooters. An offensive foul call on the play against the Hurricanes. Into the game for West Hampton Beach, number 55, 6'3", senior Mike Ford, giving Sanders a breather. Also in the game, number 30, 5'11", sophomore, Jeremy Ligon. Hurricanes generally going seven deep. Ligon and Ford, always the first two off the bench. Three-pointer off the mark. Menendez tracks down the rebound. Menendez maneuvering through traffic. Ford tracks down the deflected pass. Gives to the cutting Ligon. Jeremy Ligon, nice feed from Ford. Eight-nothing Hurricanes. Check that, make it 8-2 Hurricanes. Hurricanes try to force those turnovers, and there's one right there. They exert tremendous defensive pressure, and if you try and make the tough pass, you can turn the ball over, and that was the case there. Timeout taken on the court. 
3.43 left opening quarter. Hurricanes with an 8-2 lead. Hurricane cheerleaders out on the court. They include Tina Cowan, Sarah Stevens, Haney Muller, Heidi Kessler, Daphne Sapien, Beth Esau, Jennifer Zeltman, Jackie Bucarelli, Kelly Hayes, Katie Baravecchia, Sissy Baravecchia, Kristen Bush, Courtney Goldman, Katie Lisinski, and Jake Goldman. Uh, I should say Caliban. And they're coached by Joan Hudson, and assistant coach is Tony Scudelero. So early in this game, the Hurricanes have come out and gotten themselves off to a good start. You could expect both teams to be a little nervous, a little edgy, both first-time participants here in Glens Falls playing under this these kind of circumstances it can be you know a little nerve-wracking needless to say but both teams play a few minutes get their legs under them calm down a little bit and get into their game plans and then we'll just see who can uh, execute better and who's a bit more talented, and Menendez cutting through the lane as Ligon did on the prior play, that time Holman hitting Menendez for the lay-in. 10-2, Hurricanes. Martin back in for the Hurricanes, replacing Jason Ritchie. Pass knocked away from Wilbur by the Hurricanes, swarming around the ball. Martin launches a three short of the target. Outlet pass. That's Scott Jensen, 22. Chris Koch makes a move to the basket, and he's fouled. Hurricanes have a well-rounded attack. They can hurt you inside with their height, with Sanders and Holman. Sanders 6'6", Holman 6'5". They have the outside shooting with Martin and Richie. And Dale Menendez runs the show can penetrate, dish off, and score as well. And the Hurricanes, a very good transition team. And of course, they force those turnovers, which can lead to some easy hoops. Menendez all the way missing from in close. Rebound to Mike Tones of Penyan. Nice pass down low for the bucket. Chris Koch with the basket. 10-5, West Hampton Beach. Penyan looks like they have shifted to a zone defense out of that man-to-man. -man. Forward inside, shot blocked away by Wilbur. Ligon recovers, but he's called for traveling. A lot of fans here for Penyan. They are located in western New York. A lot of fans from all over making the trip up here to support their area teams. Many, many West Hampton Beach fans, East End fans, fans here to cheer Bridgehampton on as well, who as we tape this game, and as we tape this, it is Saturday morning on March the 21st. Three-pointer knocked down for Penyan. That's Scott Jensen, number 22. 10-8, West Hampton Beach. Several hundred Hurricane fans up here to go with other fans cheering on the Hurricanes from the East End of Long Island and from all over Long Island, in fact. Shot inside is blocked away by the Mustangs out of bounds to the Hurricanes. Two-point shot by Bronson Martin. 
12-8 West Hampton Beach. Martin had a big start to the Hurricanes victory over Southside in the Long Island Championship game, which also was the Southeast Regional Final. Richie with the steal. Ford with the rebound. Blocked from behind, and the Mustangs start back the other way. Leg to the basket. Traveling call. Holman tried to get position to draw the foul and might have got the call, except the traveling violation took precedence. Final 35 seconds of the first quarter. Menendez, Wilbur with the rebound. The Mustangs can hold for one shot should they desire, and it looks like they will. That's number 12, Robert Wilson, a 5'8 junior, handling the ball there for the Mustangs. Also in the game for them, number 23, 6'1 junior, Steve McGuire. Ball lost out of bounds, and I believe the officials will get together here and talk this over. It will be hurricane ball. The initial call was that it would be Mustang basketball, but the other officials saw it differently, quickly stepped in and corrected it. Four seconds left in the quarter. Menendez, Martin from downtown, and he hits! Bronson, Martin! Something he has specialized in so many times this season for the Hurricanes. Nails the three-pointer, and we've come to the end of the first quarter of play in the New York State Class B semifinal with the score, West Hampton Beach 15, Penn Yan 8. Fans here at the Glens Falls Civic Center got a big charge there out of that basket by Bronson Martin, and we've seen him do that several occasions in only the few games we've covered of the Hurricanes this season. But he has certainly made a name for himself, knocking down last-second three-point baskets. And he did so again here, just four seconds left in that quarter. Richie inbounded the ball to Menendez, who passed it up to Bronson Martin, who must have been some 25 feet out on the left side. When he launched one, that hit nothing but net, giving the Hurricanes a big lift at the end of that quarter. They have a 15 to 8 lead. I'd like to thank once again Hawks Fuel Oil Company Incorporated of West Hampton Beach. Wayne, Nancy, Andrew Hawk, Paul Haynes, all of Hawks Fuel Oil Company at 288-6600 for their sponsorship of this state Class B semifinal game. Martin had a shot, partially deflected. He steals it back. Misses, and the rebound batted out of bounds to the Hurricanes. Hurricanes got off well in that first quarter. Ken Yan had a strong rally to close the gap. But that last second basket, three-pointer by Martin, a big one. Richie launches from downtown. Ken Yan with the rebound. Ken Yan, 20 and five overall coming into this game. West Hampton Beach, the Unbeaten, the only unbeaten team on Long Island. Foul inside on Sanders as he went up for the block on Chris Koch. In that first quarter, West Hampton Beach shot 7 of 16 from the field, 43.8%. Penyan just 3 of 11 for just over 27% from the field. Penyon had six turnovers, West Hampton Beach with two. And that's the name of the game. Just in looking over some of the uh, shooting percentages for Bridgehampton, who has been here the last two years, and back for a third year, their shooting percentages have not been particularly good, but what they've done that has made the difference, and every team up here, I'll bet if you look at their stats, they do the same thing. They out-rebound the opposition, they are better on the offensive glass to get their team second shots, 
and they cause the other team to commit turnovers and take shots away from them. Menendez had the pass deflected. Holman missed from in close, but then Mike Ford with an offensive rebound, as we just alluded to. If you rebound well and offensive rebound well, cause turnovers, that's a winning combination because you'll be getting more shots for your team, and even if you're not making a high percentage, you'll get enough chances to score enough points to win. And when you have those turnovers, you deny the opponent scoring chances. Keep in mind here, the Glens Falls Civic Center doubles as a hockey arena for one of the Detroit Red, Red Wings minor league teams. Ford is fouled inside. He'll go to the line for two shots. The Adirondack Red Wings play here. So they have a basketball court covering a hockey rink here, which makes it a bit chilly inside. And of course, occasionally the floor can be a little slippery because of that. Whether it results in any cold shooting or not, <laughs> I'd be hard pressed to say definitively. And of course, a lot of teams here especially if they're here for the first time, even if they've been here more than once, different players come up. You have to get used to the court surroundings. And it takes some getting used to. Some players acclimate better than others. 17-9 Hurricanes. Ford unable to convert on his free throws. Loose ball, Menendez with the turnover. Up ahead to Martin. Gives to Holman. Holman too far under the basket to make it. And a held ball is called as Richie was tied up with a Penyan player on the rebound. Alternating possession arrow will favor the Mustangs. Number five, Steve Lig. That's Lig with two G's. 6'2 sophomore. Inside shot knocked down by Chris Cope. 17-11. Hurricanes. inside deflected out of bounds by the Mustangs. Jeremy Ligon checks back in for the Hurricanes, replacing Jermaine Holman. So on the court for the Hurricanes, Menendez number 12, Martin 44, Ford 55. Menendez rebounding his own miss. Jeremy Ligon number 30 and Jason Ritchie number 32. 1911 West Hampton Beach. Three pointer by Tones, way off the mark. Rebound to Martin. His pass stolen, and now restolen by Martin. Up ahead to Ford. Ligon from downtown. Richie with the offensive putback. Jason Richie. And Penyan takes a 20 second timeout. 4.38 left in the first half. 21-11, a 10-point hurricane lead, their largest of the game. Penyan cheerleaders trying to get their fans revved up. Penyan, we should mention, coached by Rob Gratton. And they're a bit of a surprise being up here themselves. But as can always happen, you finish strong in the season as you go into the playoffs and who knows how far you can go. On the way to the playoffs, Penyan beat two ranked teams in their area. Upset's always a part of the game of basketball and in any sport for that matter. Nice block inside by Ford. The interior defense of the Hurricanes coming through. 
Ford nearly has the ball stripped away, and now it is knocked away into the hands of Menendez. Menendez able to go airborne and draw the contact and the foul. Holman back in for West Hampton Beach, replacing Richie. We mentioned the Hurricanes have a well-bounced attack. Jermaine Holman, their leading scorer, averaging 18 points, 10 rebounds, three assists, and four steals on the season. Menendez, who we already mentioned, 14 points a game, seven assists, four steals. Bronson Martin averaging 16 points a game, four rebounds, and three steals. Jason Ritchie, nine points a game, five rebounds, three assists, and two steals. Dwayne Sanders, seven points a game, six rebounds, two blocks. And Mike Ford, five points a game, five rebounds, and one block. Holman, Menendez, and Martin were each all-league and all-conference. Jason Ritchie, an all-league selection this year. As I mentioned, some of those, other, some of those players were also, I'm sure, will be all-county selections when those are announced. Menendez going one of two from the line. Bronson Martin with the good hands. Loose ball into the hands of Penyan, and they score. Chris Koch with the opportunistic basket. 22-13, Hurricanes. Leading scorer for Penyan is Steve Lake, averaging 16 points a game. Wilbur averages 15 a game. Foul inside against the Mustangs. Jensen averages 12 points a game and Coke 11 points a game, so four double-figure scorers for Penyan. Tones averages eight points a game. They start three seniors, a junior, and a sophomore. Hurricanes also, three seniors, a junior, and a sophomore. Bronson Martin knocks down a two-point basket. 24-13, Hurricanes with an 11-point lead. Three-pointer launched off the mark. Holman high for the rebound along with Ford. Ball is out of bounds to the Hurricanes. Some substitutions for Penn Yan. Their big man, Chris Wilbur, 6'6", senior, number 32, checks back in, along with number 12, 5'8", junior, Robert Wilson. Penn Yan looks like they're back to a man-to-man uh, -man again, defensively. Holman gives to Ligon in traffic. Traveling violation apparently called on Ligon as he was fighting for control of that ball inside. Two thirty left in the first half. Hurricanes will try and double team whenever possible. Make those passes difficult. Try and get in the passing lanes and intercept where they perceive the pass will go. And that's something that they excel at. Ball out of bounds off of Penyan. I should correct myself. I mentioned Penyan has a red trim on the uniforms. In fact, it is orange trim. Blue uniform with orange trim. Orange and white trim to be exact. Ligon all the way in. Mustangs with the rebound. Wilbur gets the ball in the foul lane, and he is fouled. Scott Jensen, number 22, is back in for Penn Yan. Jason Ritchie returns for the Hurricanes, replacing Jeremy Ligon. Nice save by Koch on that errant pass. Wilbur Jensen from downtown. Long rebound comes to Tones, and he gets it up and in. Mike Tones makes it 24-15, Hurricanes. Oh, 
Richie on the outside. Holman open 15 foot jumper off the mark forward with the rebound. Menendez. And he gets the roll. Dale Menendez cutting to the basket and Ford finding him. 26 15, final minute of the first half. Wilbur muscles his way inside, shot way off the mark. Holman with the board. Menendez kicks it out to Martin. Three pointer in and out. Tones walks the ball across center court. Warren quickly into the corner. Jensen's three pointer is good. Scott Jensen. 26 18 Hurricanes. Final 15 seconds of the half. Hurricanes can hold for one. Richie launches one from downtown. High rebound over the backboard will go to the Mustangs. Not sure that's the type of shot that Coach Race wanted. Richie was left open, had a good look at the basket, could not convert, and now the Mustangs will get one last chance. Five seconds. Ball's knocked away by Menendez. All the way to the basket, and he scores! Menendez with a buzzer beating basket, much like Bronson Martin in the first quarter, putting a fine cap to this first half for the West Hampton Beach Hurricanes. We're at halftime of the New York State Class B semifinals. We'd like to thank House Fuel Oil Company Incorporated for their sponsorship. The halftime score, West Hampton Beach 28, Han Yan 18. West Hampton Beach cheerleaders out on the court entertaining the fans here at the Glens Falls Civic Center during halftime. Play about to begin from the Glens Falls Civic Center. As we tape this game, March the 21st, it is just after 10.30 in the morning, so some early risers here in the Glens Falls area to get here for this game. Of course, most of these teams probably not used to playing basketball, at least this type of game this early in the day you know usually you play your games late afternoon early evening so a bit of an acclimation and adjustment there for the players not that they mind it of course considering the circumstances our halftime score here in this new york state class b semi-final game the west hampton beach hurricanes 28 the Penn yan mustangs 18 like to thank once again House Fuel Oil Company Incorporated of West Hampton Beach, Wayne Nancy and their son Andrew Houck, and Paul Haynes of House Fuel Oil Company are honored to sponsor today's coverage of the West Hampton Beach High School Championship Boys Varsity Basketball Team Playoffs. Celebrating their 15th anniversary this year, House Fuel, located on Old Riverhead Road, West Hampton Beach, is family owned and operated and prides itself on the personal attention they give their customers. That's Hawk Fuel of West Hampton Beach and our great thanks to them for sponsoring this game so we can bring it back to all the East End fans. Sanders tied up inside with Wilbur of Penn Yan. Held ball, alternating possession will go to the Mustangs. Some halftime stats, West Hampton shot 13 to 33 in the first half, just over 39%. Penn Yan, 7 to 22. They were at 32%. West Hampton Beach, 1 of 5 from three-point land. Of course, that one was the basket that Bronson Martin made to end the first quarter. Penn Yan, 2 of 7. West Hampton Beach, 1 of 4 from the line. Penn Yan, 2 of 4. West Hampton Beach out-rebounded Penn Yan 19 to 17. Each side had four assists. West Hampton caused nine turnovers by Penn Yan in the first half while, while committing only three themselves. And the Hurricanes had four steals to none for Penn Yan. Scoring leaders in the first half, Dale Menendez leading the way for the Hurricanes with 13 points. Bronson Martin with seven. And in rebounds, Menendez, Holman, Martin, and Ford each had three. For Penn Yan, Koch had eight points to top their team. Jensen with six. 
Wilbur had eight rebounds and Tones three. 28-20 after a pair of free throws are made. Lost out of bounds to the Mustangs. the ball around for a three-pointer off the mark Sanders skying high for that rebound Menendez in the front court Pen Yan staying in there man-to-man -man defense Richie works his way inside for two Jason Richie makes it 30-20 West Hampton Beach Mike Tones number 11 Steve Leg number five for Penyan. Pass across to Wilbur. Block inside by Holman. Ball kicked around into the hands of Leg. Leg is bottled up inside. Leg recovers. Rebound to Richie. Mustangs getting some second chance opportunities, not able to convert. Foul against the Mustangs as Richie made a move to the basket and then kicked the ball out to a teammate. Chris Wilbur picks up the personal, his first. Holman stripped inside, recovers. Battle for the loose ball comes into the hands of Koch, who is fouled. Picks up the personal foul, his second. Sanders got into some foul trouble in the first half, which curtailed his court time. So he is out on the court to start the second half. Bronson Martin with the steal. And the basket. 32-20, Hurricanes. is the three-pointer. Rebound out to Richie. Richie with Martin. And Martin scores. Two on one break for the Hurricanes. Converted. And now Penyan will take a timeout as the Hurricanes have opened up a 14-point lead. 34-20. Five minutes, ten seconds left in the third quarter. There you see the West Hampton Beach Hurricane Pep Band interjecting some musical accompaniment periodically throughout the game. Nice turnout here for this early morning game. I should correct myself on uh, the Bridgehampton game that we did this in my final game. I, made the uh, assumption just uh, looking at the arena that it held some 15,000 or so fans and I was uh, needless to say pretty far off in fact uh, this arena holds 5,500 fans small arena not a major arena but a nice intimate setting compared to say a Nassau Coliseum or any of the bigger arenas and certainly uh, the crowd noise reverberates throughout this arena even when there aren't a lot of fans here. But I would say uh, at least a couple of thousand fans here for this game. Missed inside by the Mustangs. Holman with the rebound. Dribbles his way out of traffic. Up ahead to Sanders. Richie with the offensive rebound. And he is fouled. Some of the Penyan bench and supporters thinking that perhaps Holman traveled as he extricated himself from the triple team. Holman able to get out of danger, get the ball up ahead. And it eventualized in Richie being fouled after he 
got an offensive rebound, and he'll be at the line for two shots. Ball rose teasingly around the rim and off. And now the second, Holman had the putback opportunity, could not convert. Quickness shown by Holman. Score remains 34, 20, and Martin once again. Same play, same result, and Martin steal and the basket. 36-20, Hurricane so very adept at anticipating where passes will go, getting in those passing lanes and getting steals and turnovers. Loose ball to Ritchie. Martin, Ritchie from downtown. Sanders up high for the rebound, goes to the court and gets tied up with a Penn Yan player. That's Mike Tones, number 11. Held ball is called. Alternating possession arrow will favor the Hurricanes. Jeremy Ligon comes in for the Hurricanes, replacing Martin. Menendez to inbound. Holman, strong move, gives to Sanders, who gets it up and in. Power move by Sanders, getting it up against the double team. 38-20. Hurricanes up by 18. Leg works his way inside. High hawking shot as Sanders came out and changed the trajectory of that shot. Menendez decides to bring it back out. Ligon has the ball stolen away by Tones. Tones works his way in, draws the foul. Mike Tones will go to the line for two shots. Foul on Ligon, that is his third personal. 13 foul. Mike Ford is back in for West Hampton Beach. Replacing Sanders. Tones misfires on the first free throw attempt. One of two for Tones. 38 21. Hurricanes. underneath gives to Ford turnaround shot and he gets the roll Mike Ford makes it 40 21 West Hampton Beach hurricanes all over the ball and they cause the turnover Ligon will bring the ball up. Ligon, just a sophomore. Bronson Martin, also a sophomore. So some young talent here on the Hurricanes, even though they will have some seniors graduating. Menendez, Ritchie, Ford, and Holman. Foul on the Mustangs. That's against Chris Koch, his first personal. 13 foul against the Mustangs. West Hampton Beach also with three team fouls. Holman at the line for two shots. I didn't have a chance to look at the stat sheet that I was given, but they've done a study here over the last five years on team shooting percentages here. And, it, and they, uh, they come to the conclusion that, needless to say, teams do not shoot as well here as they do in their own areas. Familiarity with the courts, of course, may have something to do with that. 
and the situation that they're in, you know, big game, atmosphere, getting comfortable with it. And as we mentioned earlier, the fact that it is rather cold in here. So uh, I'm sure the players are pretty warm, but just the venue and the surroundings could have a factor there as far as how teams shoot compared to how they shoot in their local areas. Holman rebounding his own miss is fouled. 150 left in the third quarter. Hurricanes with a 41-23 advantage. Off the inbounds, Holman misses on the jumper. Wilbur getting up for the rebound for the Mustangs. Jensen launches one from downtown. Menendez high for the rebound. Something else Menendez does very well for a point guard. Rebounds the ball. Not afraid to go to the basket. Menendez had the ball stripped away and Penyan got a shot off. Ligon trying to dribble through traffic. Hurricanes work the ball inside to Ford. Shot partially deflected. You like to try and pass the ball around that pressure. Hurricanes tried to dribble around it. Lost the ball once. And Ligon, fortunate to be able to escape the traffic down at his end on the previous play. Ligon outlets to Holman. Acrobatic shot by Holman. Jermaine Holman. 20-point Hurricane lead, 43-23. The 6-6 Wilbur on the outside, not a place you expect to see him. Makes a nice move to get to the basket. Rebounds his own miss for a second time. Draws the contact and the foul. Four seconds left in the third quarter. Wilbur knocks down the first. Jason Ritchie is back in the Hurricane lineup, replacing Jeremy Ligon. One of two from the line for Wilbur. Ford with the rebound. Penyan going to some full court pressure, trying to force the pace, force the action, get some turnovers if they can. And they do in that case. Full court pressure, always a gamble. If you can break the full court pressure, you can get yourself some easy hoops at the other end. However, you can also create some turnovers defensively if you're successful as was the Mustangs in that case. Now the Hurricanes responding with some pressure of their own. Sort of fighting fire with fire. Ball nearly lost, now Bronson Martin with the steal up to Holman. Holman going strong to the basket is fouled by Steve Legg of Penn Yen. So Holman will go to the line for two shots. Just four seconds left in the quarter. <laughs> Holman short on the first. Two for Holman. Four seconds left in the quarter. Coke 
gets to Wilbur, who cannot get the shot off. It wouldn't have counted prior to the buzzer sounding. So we've come to the end of the third quarter of play. Our thanks once again to Hawk Fuel Oil Company for their sponsorship of this game. Score after three, the New York State Class B semifinals, West Hampton Beach 44 and Yan 24. and cheerleaders out on the court as we await the start of the final eight minutes of play in this Class B semi-final game. Our thanks once again to Hawks Fuel Oil Company Incorporated of West Hampton Beach, Wayne, Nancy, and their son Andrew Hauk, and Paul Haynes of Hawks Fuel Oil Company of West Hampton Beach are honored to sponsor today's coverage of the West Hampton Beach High School Championship Boys Varsity Basketball Team Playoffs. Celebrating their 15th anniversary this year, Hawks Fuel, located on Old Riverhead Road, West Hampton Beach, is family owned and operated and prides itself on the personal attention they give their customers. That's Hawks Fuel Oil Company, Incorporated of West Hampton Beach. Our thanks to them for helping us bring you this New York State Class B semifinal game. Little double image there. <laughs> Myself and the monitor we have here at Courtside. I think one of me is enough, however. <laughs> Paul heartily agrees. Panyan with the ball to start this fourth quarter of play. Richie, all the way to the basket. Holman with the tip in. Jermaine Holman, 46-24. West Hampton Beach. Leg launches a three-pointer. Rebound tip is missed. Sanders with the rebound and the outlet to Menendez. Four on one break. Martin comes up with the loose ball. Menendez with the tip in. Dale Menendez operating inside. Just 5'10", but has tremendous leaping ability. 48-24. Menendez. All the way in, gives to Sanders. Make that home in. Sanders gets the ball and is fouled hard by the Mustangs. Sanders back up on his feet, and he'll go to the line for two shots. taken by Pen Yan. 6.48 left in the game. Hurricanes well in control of this contest with a 48-24 lead. They have doubled it up on the Pen Yan Mustangs. Hurricane cheerleaders back out on the court. after this game has concluded will await the winner of the other semifinal game between the defending state class B champs and also unbeaten this season Warriors of West Hill High School in the Syracuse area they will be playing a team from the Binghamton area of New York from Corning Painted Post West High School their team nicknamed the Vikings. They have a 20 and four record. Needless to say, a West Hill favored in that game. And we could be looking at a West Hampton Beach West Hill matchup. Two unbeaten teams knocking heads in the state class B finals. We'll just have to wait and see what happens in that game. Hurricanes well on their way in this game to securing one of the spots in the class B finals. Richie down low to Sanders, has the ball stripped, and then a foul as Sanders recovered the loose ball. The Hurricanes between last year and this year have lost just one game. And that was to Amityville in the County Class B playoffs last season, last second loss, very tough one. 
They've rebounded in tremendous fashion this year. I'm sure being motivated by that loss to some degree and have surpassed that achievement of last year, far surpassed it, getting up here to Glens Falls. Knocking off Harbor Fields in the state Class B title game. I should say in the county Class B title game. The Harbor Fields Tornadoes, I should mention. Then they beat Bridgehampton for the county small schools title and then the North Babylon Bulldogs for the overall county title as Penyan scores inside. Chris Koch with the basket. And then in the Long Island title game, which also doubles as the Southeast Regional Final. Big play there. Menendez giving to Holman, who got the basket and the foul. Hurricanes knocked off North Babylon for the overall Suffolk County Championship and then went to play the Southside Cyclones as Holman completes the three-point play for the uh, Long Island Championship and the Southeast Regional Championship, earning their trip up here to Glens Falls. Play in traffic by Mike Tones as he split the double team and got the banker to go down. 52-28. Martin launches one from downtown. Bronson Martin. 55-28. It's all Hurricanes. Near steal by Holman. Three-pointer way off the mark. Ritchie with the rebound. Smart play by the senior as he calls a timeout to avoid a turnover. He did not want to just throw the ball back in bounds and perhaps give it to the opposition. 5.04 left in the game. Hurricane cheerleaders awaiting their next trip out onto the court. Well, West Hampton Beach can truly lay claim to the title of the best team on Long Island this season. A lot of times you have these titles get awarded, so to speak, and they're more awarded on uh, what they've done during the season without having to play some of the teams that they are given the honor over. But in West Hampton Beach's case, when they played that Long Island Championship game in Class B against the Cyclones of Southside, Southside had knocked off the Class A champs of Nassau County, Hempstead, who have been there and won many times and are, in fact, up here again in Glens Falls to try and see if they can win a state Class A title once again. Southside knocked off Hempstead for the overall Nassau County title. So you had the overall Suffolk County champ in West Hampton Beach and the overall Nassau County champ in Southside matching up in the Long Island Class B title game with the Hurricanes winning that. So they can actually say they are, they can have that title of the best team this season on Long Island. Now they want to become the best team in their class in New York State. And with this win in the semifinals, we'll be halfway there. Martin from the outside. Two-point basket that time for Martin. Hurricanes would like nothing better than to see him get into his comfort zone on this court as the Hurricanes will be playing in the finals. As is always the case, defense is one of the keys to victory, and the Hurricanes so far today have held Penn Yan to 23% shooting up till now through three quarters in that third quarter just three of 21 from the field for Penyan just 14 percent and that indeed is very cold as cold as the ice below this basketball court is as this arena doubles for a hockey rink as well Holman running into a Penyan player Steve Legg on the sideline 
ball will remain I should say the ball will remain uh, with the Hurricanes surprised that Penyan is not going to some full court pressure whenever possible just to try to create some turnovers Off the inbounds, Martin, high arcing shot. Rebound knocked out of bounds to the Mustangs. You see the Hurricanes crashing the boards at every occasion, whether it be the forward line or Menendez, Ligon, Martin, any of the backcourt teammates. All times you'll see all five of the Hurricanes going to the boards. Warren knocks down a baseline jumper. I'll make that Wilson, let me correct myself, Robert Wilson with the basket. 57-30, Mustangs with a double team. Held ball is called, alternating possession arrow will favor the Hurricanes. the outside. Holman working down low, the bank shot, and the foul. Jermaine Holman wheeling and dealing on the right side. As Holman goes to the line, we are given a note on the Hurricanes who have been called from the foul line today and continue to be called. They are now 5 of 15 from the line. Not that it's having a great impact on this particular game, but certainly you don't know how close a game you'll be in in the finals, and making your free throws could be very, very important. 61-30 as the Hurricanes got a four-point trip down the court on that occasion. Some substitutes for the Hurricanes. Jermaine Holman, Dale Menendez going out of the game, getting congratulated. Should be the last we see of those players for today. Into the game for West Hampton Beach, number 20, six-foot junior, Lucian Bloxen. And also Mike Ford, number 55, back in for the Hurricanes. Ford has seen... Plenty of action throughout the game. First action of the game for Bloxham. Near steal by Ligon. Ligon out, guarding on the perimeter. Mustangs having great difficulty getting a good look at the basket, and now they get one, and a foul on the Hurricanes. Mike Ford picking up the personal. Hurricanes did an excellent job of denying the Mustangs a good look at the basket. Even the shot that Mike Tones got, that he made, was a tough one. Ford all over him, and Tones completes the three-point play. 61-33, Hurricanes. Full court pressure by the Mustangs. Hurricanes break it, blocks in, all the way to the basket, and the foul. Lucian blocks in, getting into the scoring column, to getting a congratulatory slap on the hand from Coach Rich Race. Blocks in a junior, he'll be back next year. And now some wholesale substitutions for the Mustangs as they will let some of their reserves get in. Needless to say, the game has been over for quite a while, so some of the reserve players for the Mustangs will get a chance to get some court time here in this state class B semifinal game. And I would suspect that after this timeout, the Hurricanes will do the same. 2.08 left in the game. 
have averaged over 80 points a game throughout the season. They may not make that today, but defensively, as always, they have excelled. In Suffolk County, they had a terrific twosome in the fact that they were the leading offensive team in Suffolk County and also the best team defensively in Suffolk County. So you put those two together and you're going to have yourself a championship team as they prove down on Long Island. And now they'll get a chance to prove it in the state class B finals against either the West Hill Warriors or the Corning Painted Post Vikings, depending on who is victorious in that semifinal game, which will follow this game here at Glens Falls. Saturday morning, March the 21st, as we videotape this contest for you back on the East End. In the game for the Hurricanes, number 24, 6'1 junior Sean Galloway, number 42, 6'3 junior Keith Mayeski, number 14, Kenny Andrea, 5'9 junior, along with Bloxon and Ligon. So the Hurricanes giving their reserves on playing action, and Kenny Andrea knocks down a three-point basket. That's something he'll remember for years to come. As he gets into the scoring column. Maeski to the basket. Ligon with the rebound basket. 68-33. Hurricanes. Ball lost out of bounds by a Mustang player. A bit anxious as he would have had an easy lay-in. Number 13 in the game for the Hurricanes, 5'9", sophomore Mark Green. Hurricanes running time off the clock. Green makes a move into the lane and scores! Mark Green, the sophomore, gets into the scoring column. Under a minute left in the game. I think Hurricane fans would like to see every player get into the scoring column if possible. Watson has scored, Andrea scored, Green has scored. 49 seconds left. More substitutes coming in for the Hurricanes. Number 34, 6'3", sophomore Andrew Cruz into the lineup. Along with number 43, six-foot sophomore Adam Candell. Always nice if you're afforded the opportunity to get some of your reserves into a state playoff game. Because you never know for sure if you'll be back again. Of course, the Hurricanes know they'll have one more game after this. Who knows how that game will go and what opportunity will be afforded to get your reserve players in. They put in as much time as the starters work hard throughout the season don't get a chance off times to get on the court. Of course, the Hurricanes have had ample opportunity throughout the season as they have had many one-sided victories throughout the 97-98 season to get their reserves in. Pass out of bounds to the Hurricanes. 28 seconds to go. Green walks the ball across the mid-court line. Fifteen seconds left. Maeski inside cannot convert. Cruz missing from in close. Maeski kicks it out to Green. Rebound is lost out of bounds to the Mustangs. Four seconds left. And that will do it. The West Hampton Beach Hurricanes will advance to the New York State Class B Finals with a convincing victory in the semifinals.
semifinals. Final score, West Hampton beat 70, Penn Yan 34. Players from both sides now will come out to center court to receive an award for their appearance here at Glens Falls in the state tournament. Penn Yan players. Last game for those players for this year. They'll finish at 20 and 6 on the season. Needless to say, a good season. But it was a surprise to get here, a program that hadn't had any winning seasons until the last two. So certainly have come a long way in a short time. And certainly they deserve a lot of congratulations for earning their way here into the state final four. Chris Wilbur, their big inside player, 6'6", senior, his last high school game. And now the coach at Penyan, Rob Grattan, coming out. will have the Hurricanes go out to receive their awards. Dale Menendez. Mark Green. Rich. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing very good. Terrific victory for your team. What do you want, do you want to do? No, 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 no. Right, right away? We're actually rolling now. Believe it or not. <laughs> what do you have, a microphone? We're right? in the wireless, yeah. <laughs> but a uh, tremendous victory for your team. You yep. came out yep. and got off to a, a good start. Uh, couldn't have gone any better for your squad. Well, offensively, we had some problems, but they were nervous. But our defense won the game. We played great defense. And we ran. We hustled. The defense was unbelievable. Just like down in Suffolk County, where you scored the most points in the county, gave up the least. That's the only winning combination. Yep. And your defense again today we'll play better was tomorrow. tremendous. We're going to play better tomorrow. Well, now you're going to await the winner, of course, of the semifinal game. West Hill, many people's favorites because they're the defending class B champs. But uh, whoever it is, I know it'll be a tremendous game. We'll let Rich go out, join his club. As they've gotten their post-game awards for this game. Of course, there'll be more awards to get tomorrow. Hurricane certainly hoping a state class B plaque is among them. We'll do it here from courtside as the Hurricanes gather for one more huddle. And we'll take a short break and be back to wrap this up in just a moment. One more time from the Glens Falls Civic Center for this game and a one-sided big victory for the West Hampton Beach Hurricanes, a 70-34 triumph over the Penyan Mustangs and the Hurricanes now with a 25-0 record, still unbeaten, will get an opportunity to bring back a New York State Class B title to West Hampton Beach and the East End of Long Island. And uh, getting closer, it's getting closer. Uh, this game, I'll tell you, a game where the Hurricanes didn't come out playing their best, but they were playing better than the opposition. Got off to a lead. Penyan made a bit of a rally in that first quarter. But then after that, it was all Hurricanes. They had a 15-8 lead after the first quarter, thanks to a Bronson Martin buzzer-beating three-point basket. And then at the end of the half, uh, it was 28-18, uh, a 10-point lead. Dale Menendez knocking, uh, I should say, stealing the ball and scoring a layup right before the halftime buzzer. And in the second half, it was all Hurricanes. They outscored Penyan 16-6 in that third quarter. So they had a 20-point lead uh, heading into the fourth quarter, and it was basically all over. And then the fourth quarter, a lot of West Hampton Beach reserve players got to see some action, got to score some, and that's certainly a, a big thrill for any of those players to get an opportunity to play out here in a New York State playoff game and also get into the uh, scoring column 
As far as the points go uh, for the Hurricanes, they were led by Bronson Martin with 20 points, shot 9 of 15 from the field, also 2 for 4 from downtown. Dale Menendez, another excellent job running the Hurricane offense with 15 points, 7 for 11 from the field, had 5 rebounds uh, as well. Jermaine Holman with 11 points, did not shoot well, well from the field, just 4 of 14. But he did rebound well with a team high nine rebounds. Jason Ritchie, while just having four points, had eight rebounds. Scoring certainly not something that Ritchie needs to do on this team, and that's the beauty of this team. They each have roles to play. They know their roles very well and have excelled in doing them the whole season. Uh, Dwayne Sanders had some foul trouble today. He had five points, four rebounds. Jeremy Ligon with four points. Mike Ford with four points. Kenny Andrea, one of the reserve players, three-point basket had three points mark green lucian bloxen also reserve players for the hurricanes each had two points as well for the hurricane total of 70 points hurricanes also dished out 13 assists on the day which is certainly good as you can tell from that that they're passing the ball around many players are touching the ball and they're resulting in baskets hurricanes also had nine steals and five blocks and they caused 18 turnovers by Penn Yan. Certainly very impressive totals there as well. For the Mustangs of Penn Yan, they only had one player in double figures. Their leading scorer, Chris Koch, had 10 points. Mike Tones with eight points. Scott Jensen with six. Steve Blake with four points. Chris Wilbur with three points. Robert Wilson with two points. And Dean French, one of their reserves, got in late and got one point. <clears throat> for a total of 34. And defense is the name of the game. You know, the Hurricanes, even though they can score a lot of points, defense is what wins championships and we saw it again here today as they held the opposition to just 34 points as far as players of the game go we're not even going to give one for West Hampton Beach because the way they play as a team you know that kind of speaks for itself so uh, the West Hampton Beach team are uh, the players of the game for the Hurricanes and Chris Koch will mention as uh, Penn Yan's uh, best player for today's game so the Hurricanes as I mentioned previously go to 25 and 0 as they continue their pursuit of a Class B title for New York State, Penn Yan finishes at 20-6 uh, and six on the season. And our congratulations to them on their good efforts, though certainly the Hurricanes, as they have done to many opponents this season, putting them away in fine fashion. And now the Hurricanes will await the winner of the other semifinal game between the Warriors of West Hill from the Syracuse area and the Corning Painted Post Vikings from the Binghamton area. And we'll bring that game to you here also on Peconic Bay Television Channel 27. We'd like to thank once again before we go, uh, Hawks Fuel Oil Company Incorporated of West Hampton Beach for their sponsorship of this game. Wayne and Nancy and their son Andrew and also Paul Haynes of 70, Penn Yan 34. This is Ed Zabrowski. We thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again next time.
pledged his love to one woman. You got big dreams. I like that. But the